one of the questions, we're going to have to be quite tight here, one of the questions that really did fumble him a little bit was on the vaccine yes. issue. Hi, Rishi Sunak. I've got so much to say, but such little time. My name is John Watt, and I'm one of the COVID vaccine injured in this country. I want you to look into my eyes, Rishi Sunak, and I want you to look at the pain, the trauma, and the regret I have in my eyes. We have been left with no help at all. Not only am I in here that's vaccine injured, there's another man over there whose life's been ruined by that COVID-19 vaccine. I know people who have lost legs, amputations. I know people with heart conditions like myself, Rishi Sunak. Why have I had to set up a support group in Scotland to look after the people that have been affected by that COVID-19 vaccine? Why are the people who are in charge, who told us all to do the right thing, have left us all to rot and left me and the thousands and the tens of thousands in this country to rot. Rishi Sunak, look me in the eye. When are you going to start to do the right thing? The vaccine damage payment scheme is not fit for purpose. In Scotland right now, according to the yellow card system, there are over 30,000 people that have had an adverse reaction to that vaccine and okay. 200 deaths. J John? Thank you very much indeed for your question. You've, for you to start doing the right thing, Mr. Rishi Sunak, and the rest. You've, you've, you've made a really strong point, John. Prime Minister. Yeah, John, well, I'm very sorry to hear about your personal circumstances, and you said someone over here also seems to have suffered by, the similar, by a similar thing. Now, obviously, I, I don't know about the individual situation that you're We're in. We're silenced, and, Rishi. We're silenced well, on I don't, social media and everything. Okay. We are silenced. We are the most stylish people in this country. I'm silenced right. in the press because my story in the press okay. had to go right. to the government for comment but and they made them forgive, take all right. the stuff out. For, no, forgive me, said. forgive me both. I know I'm happy. We, 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 I'm we, no, no, no one, no okay. one, John, no one, no one is saying, no one is saying Oh, yeah, okay. No I've lost uh, my house, no, my wife, a successful and, career. And, sir, you raised some very valid points, I'm sure. What I've got to say is, though, we haven't got you on microphone and, as you know, we've got to get through this. I'm sure we can, we can raise your points with the Prime Minister at a later yeah. date. But in the meantime, Prime Minister, if you yeah, could no, cover the I'm, issue. I'm, I'm very happy to. So look, there is a vaccine compensation scheme that's in place, as you alluded to in the NHS. Obviously, everyone individually will work through their cases. It's difficult for me to comment on anyone's individual case. I'm sure you'll appreciate that. I'm very happy to go and look at the cases, and I'm sure you'll get them to the team here. I mean, I, I'm very saddened and shocked to hear that you've been silenced by anybody. That is surprising to me. So please do get your details to Stephen and the team, and I will happily take that away. Of course, you should be able to speak about your experience, what's happened to you. And as I said, we have a compensation scheme in place for that and I'll make sure that we're working through that. Obviously I think you'll appreciate it's hard for me to comment on your specific circumstances just not knowing them and those things that... Yeah. So our viewers and listeners won't be able to... I think look, the, la the last thing I'd say is uh, you know, we went through a pandemic like everyone else at the points when it came to the vaccine those decisions were always taken on the basis of medical advice from our medical experts to tell us as politicians who are obviously not doctors about how best to roll out the vaccine, what was in the public health interest, the priority order, how that should be done, who should be eligible. That was something that the doctors recommended on and that's something that we followed. Now, obviously, if there are individual circumstances which haven't worked out, and that's why we have the compensation scheme in place, and I'll make sure that we follow up on your cases. OK, Prime Minister, thank you. And gents, both of you, do give us your details. We will get that to the Prime Minister, and as he said, he will, I'm sure, look at that for you. Now, that is an issue that's, it's that's a huge haunted issue. you a little bit because you were quite pro-vaccine, weren't you? Uh, abs I'm sorry. Uh, what I said was I was pro the choice. It's an individual choice. We were the first people to say you shouldn't be vaccinating young people or children, and here's the point. I commit, and I don't think any other party will, I commit, we need an inquiry into the vaccine injuries, vaccine injuries. And that is my commitment here this evening for the first time to you. That will be in our contract with the people. There has to be an inquiry. You heard it from those gentlemen. I'm hearing it up and down the country. So there is a serious UK, issue. So, OK, let's just have this right. So Reform UK, if voted, will immediately have an inquest into the vaccine injured. I'm absolutely right. We need that and it needs to happen quickly and there needs to be proper interim payments made to those who have been injured. 